Muslim living in any part of the world, he is our brother. We should feel for him. Muslims are suffering. Muslims are butchered. Muslims are slain. And some of us even they don't feel, they don't cry over that. Salim Al Amri. If one organ is in pain, the whole body feels that. Whether he's in India, whether he's in Far East, whether he's wherever the Muslim is, he is my brother. I should feel for him. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Brothers and sisters in Islam Humanity is suffering People are suffering. Humanity is in the darkness. People are in need for someone to show them the way out. And we Muslims know the way. It has been given to us. It is this book. It is the Quran. It's the word of Allah. It's the last guidance that Allah sent for man. Every Muslim knows that it is this book to let the people to know about it to read it to convey what is inside it the early Muslims they understood and they realized the importance of conveying the message in this book and sharing the guidance that it contains and spread it to those who are in the dark. All of you, they know, or most of you know, what the Prophet Sallallahu said on the Mount of Arafat. Those who are present should take the message to those who are absent. The companions, they understood the message and they took this light. This book, brothers and sisters, is the solution for all the problems of humanity. People, they should know about it. This is the proof, the irrefutable proof, the irrefutable evidence about the messengership and prophethood of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If anyone comes and says, what is the evidence? What is the proof that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah? Say this book. The Jews cannot produce to us the miracles of Musa alayhi salam. They cannot replay to us the Passover and the split of the sea. That miracle happened. We believe in it. It happened. But it cannot be reproduced. Only those who happened to be in the company of Moses witnessed it and saw it. The same thing, the Christians cannot 
reduce all the miracles which Isa, Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, peace and blessings be upon him and upon his mother, upon all the prophets of Allah who preceded him and upon our beloved prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They cannot produce all the miracles that he healed the blind and the livers and all these things. Because these were momentary, happened and, and finished, and that's it. And Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is not an exception. He performed so many miracles, وسلم, so many, very great miracles. I'll just mention a few of them, but the greatest miracle is this one, which is still exists. The Prophet وسلم, the water, the water gushed from his fingers. There was scarcity of water. And the Prophet وسلم, he brought, he told them, give me a small pot. And he put his hand in it. And the water started gushing out. His hand became like water taps. And the water coming out. And the Sahaba, they saw that. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is one of his miracles. In the masjid, he used to give the khutbah standing on the ground, on the floor, leaning against a piece of wood, a trunk of a tree, leaning against it. And then they built for him the mimbar, the pulpit. And the first khutbah he gave the trunk of the tree started crying and everyone in the masjid heard the cry of the trunk the trunk was crying like a child till the prophet ﷺ came down and hugged the trunk and then the trunk became quiet One of the companions came to the Prophet وسلم, carrying his eye on his palm. His eye fell off. Say, see, O oh Prophet of Allah. He said, don't worry. He put it back. And this eye became stronger than the other one. So the Prophet وسلم, he performed many miracles. But the greatest miracle is this book. The Quran. This book changed and transformed the life of the Arabs before Islam. The Arabs before Islam, they were dead nation, neglected. No one knows anything about them, fighting one another before Islam. They would fight one another for this, for silly reasons. Some of the battles that happened between the Arabs before Islam lasted for years. And if you ask and you want to know the reason, it is very silly. One of the famous battles is Dahis and Al Ghabra. Dahis and Al Ghabra. You know what Dahis and Al Ghabra? Names of two horses. Two horses. They were in the race, and one horse won the race. And one horse belongs to the Bian, and the other horse belongs to Abs, two tribes. And the war started. And hundreds and hundreds of people were killed. Another famous battle is the battle of Al Basus. What is Al Basus? It's the Sheikh Hamel. Again. So that was the situation of the Arabs. They were alcoholic before Islam, most of them. Eating the dead animals, worshipping idols, burying their daughters alive, drinking blood, all these ills they had before Islam. 